Hello there, welcome to one more video on the Linux series. In the previous video, we saw how to host multiple websites on single Linux server. I said in previous video that there are two ways how this could be done. One by differentiating the ports and other by differentiating the server or domain name. And we saw uh, how to differentiate uh, ports in the previous video. But that involves more work. You, know, you need to uh, enable network binding internally and then open some HTTPD uh, C Linux policies. Uh, and uh, that was too much work involved. So this video is about the second way how we can achieve this. Uh, of course, even for this video, you need to refer to the previous video because that will tell you how to make the configuration in Nginx, how to host different folders and all those things. In this video, we will see how we can point our GoDaddy domain, the one which we have purchased already, uh, to the IP address running in a virtual private server like the Linux server wherever you are running it. And the incoming request how the Nginx configuration needs to be modified so that the incoming request we can differentiate and send to different sites. For the purpose of this video, I am going to make use of my existing uh, GoDaddy account and the domain which I already have. Yeah, the concept whatever we are going to follow in this video will be similar for other host and domain providers as well in case you have hostinger or name.com or whatever it is the concept is going to be the same all you need to do is change your a records uh, so just follow this video and uh, we will start with godaddy i opened up uh, from this uh, godaddy to my service i have a website called mouse.events and uh, here uh, so many information is present what i'm going to do i am going to transfer or forward whenever a request comes through a particular uh, domain i am going to transfer it to a different ip address just forward it to my ip address here this is the ip address and i want you to forward it to this ip address save and nothing else from my mouse events, I will just forward it to this IP address and the IP address I will handle whatever I want to do. Yeah, I waited for like uh, 5 minutes now whenever I try this mouse start events, it's now opening up the Nginx one. But this is not what we need right because we have hosted uh, different websites there at 5001 and 5002. I can try this one like this. Uh, but this is not something that I need. I don't need to put 5001 and 5002 here. This is like I don't need to tell people to enter this. So the website itself is now going directly to the 80 page. But I need this to be redirected to either the test site 1 or test site 2. To do that, we can do subdomain concept. So this is this is just an idea. You can do different things as well. If mouse dot events directs to this, uh, when, when, because this idea, the video itself about hosting multiple websites, you can have one more domain, and that domain also direct to the same IP address. And uh, when you receive the information on Nginx. Whenever the server name is mouse.event, you can redirect to 5001 or whenever the server name is something else, you can redirect to 5002. That's what we are going to do now. So I will directly go to our uh, Linux server here and uh, open up and uh, select the config files. We know the config files are etc. Nginx, uh, sites enabled and sites available. We have put it in sites available and let me edit the first one test1.conf and here the server name is not default name. I am going to say the server name is, I need to go into insert mode. I will say server name is mouse.events or www.mouse.events. Mouse.events. If the information comes from any of these two places, right and quit. And um, system control restart. You don't need to restart. All you need to do is uh, uh, reload Nginx. So here, let's do control F5. Control F5. So reload the page. 
and it still didn't work you know the reason why it didn't work uh, because uh, in the configuration here we still are listening at 5000 only when the request comes to 5000 we will differentiate by the server name so here you need to say listen at 80 so which basically means uh, same like the main page listen at 80 but now differentiate it with the server name that's what we are saying here so we don't have the port concept here we are uh, having the uh, server name concept at present like i said in the beginning there are two ways how the request can be differentiated we have restarted it and f5 now mouse start events is going to site one so what happened uh, the nginx is listening at 80 port but it has two configuration files one configuration files for the default website another configuration file for the uh, test site that one so mouse dot events is now redirected there and once it reaches there then nginx will differentiate it it cannot differentiate anymore because the request has arrived to 80 and uh, if the server name is not present then the default file will be issued since the server name is coming from mouse.events or http that whatever it is it is redirecting to this location now we need to test how we can host another website as well i have one more domain here but setting up this is going to take time so what i will do i will create a subdomain to show uh, how it goes to another website same like setting up a new domain but we will set up a subdomain now let me go here now subdomain is also another a record but if it is a it is the primary domain if it is subdomain i'm going to say that uh, uh, let's say uh, test uh, site 2 site 2 and ip address is same 65 20 85 185 and let it do in half an hour save i have two a records whenever at is present that means it's directly the main one and whenever site 2 is present it will go there now that's fine now now let me refresh the page and go and refresh here and um, we added that one as site 2 so site 2 dot mouse dot events will not load anything because it's a sub completely separate domain and uh, it's still going to the main page now what we do we'll go back to the uh, linux and this time we will edit test2 dot conf and here we will say this also let it listen to 80 now here it will be site 2 dot mouse dot events so, and write and quit system control restart nginx now this is the second website so whenever mouse dot events is called it's going to test to on site whenever site 2 dot mouse dot events is called and this is going to second website now what happened here is initially we tried to differentiate by port number we did not differentiate by server name so when we don't differentiate by server name only based upon the port you will be able to reach the location you need to give the port whichever port you need to specify 5000 or 6000 or whichever it is now the major problem with that uh, is uh, uh, whenever you are calling something like that uh, you also have to enable and open all your internal ports uh, for instance uh, we enabled all the httpd we enabled the cmanage linux uh, all because we tried to access a different uh, port internally we were not able to bind to a different port so that is one way of differentiating the request based upon the port another way of differentiating the request is through the uh, site name or the server name itself like what we did here we checked uh, let me check this uh, test test one so like uh, we put everything will be listening at 80 so there is only one port when the request comes the specific port will then differentiate the request and send it to different folders 
based upon the server name which is present so obviously in our case it is mouse dot event so it's coming here to test one site and when it already when it did not have a prefix like the subdomain was not present then it considered mouse dot events and sent here when we added it uh, subdomain to the second site it was able to differentiate it so these are the two ways how we can host multiple websites in a single server thank you